If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here. We're back with some more insane investments that can help you make a ton of coins on Viva 22. And obviously today we're gonna to be looking at our weekly team of the week investments. And as we're jumping into this, all I ask that you guys do, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and check out my Twitch for all my daily live streams. Link is in the description. So as you can see, team of the week 21 is here. And it's honestly a really good team of the week for team of the week investing. We got Neuer, Koulibaly, Jordi Alba, Luis Alberto. We got a big range of ratings, leagues, nations. And we're going to dive into why we invest in team of the weeks, when to buy, when to sell, everything like that. So why do we typically invest in team of the weeks and specifically team of the weeks that are fodder cards and that means basically cards that are strictly going to be used for spcs for example like this luis alberto here so the reason we invest in these is because obviously these cards are only in packs for one week because it's the team of the week they're in packs for one week and that's it they never go back in packs so on promo weeks like this week with future stars when you get all these lightning rounds 100ks 50ks everything like that on the weekends these cards get tons and tons and tons of supply and there's just so many of them on the market so they kind of get the cheapest they'll ever be and then after these cards go out of packs and say people start submitting these luis albertos into sbcs there's never going to be more luis albertos getting put on the game because he's never going to be in packs again so you get all the supply while these guys are in packs and when they get put into sbcs they just get deleted off the game they're never coming back so we try to invest while these guys are in packs to make coins off of these so these rise in price obviously because of sbcs sbcs SPCs make a lot of these cards go up in price because essentially you're just going to have player SPCs, you're going to have casino SPCs like player picks and stuff that basically just require that you submit team of the weeks. And whenever that happens, cards like these always go up in price. So when to buy these cards, we're going to go through when to buy, when to sell, and then talk about the specific team of the week cards. So when to buy these cards, typically the best time to buy team of the weeks is the week that they're in packs, it's going to be Saturday during content, like an hour after content, two hours after content, when you're getting lightning rounds and things like that. So lightning rounds are essentially just the EA puts a ton of packs in the store, 50Ks, 100Ks, ultimate packs, things like that. And you just get tons and tons of supply at once. So these cards drop in price dramatically in the space of just like a few hours because of the amount of them getting listed on the market. So for example, this Jordi Alba here is currently sitting at 38K when I'm recording this. This is before any sort of, this is like before content today, before there's been any sort of light rounds anything like that this guy's like 37k at the moment when we get content today and tomorrow we get all these packs all this supply of these cards he's going to drop in price i could see him being 34 33k during content because the amount of him that's going to be getting listed on the market so essentially we like to pick up either saturday a little bit after content because the amount of supply there and we already had the supply on friday as well or we like to pick up sunday because obviously you have the, the supply from saturday still and you have weekend league rewards so either a couple hours after content saturday or early sunday is when i like to pick up my team of the week cards now when to sell when to sell is it's very simple but a lot of people make it complicated basically you sell when the cards go up in price. I can't tell you when we're going to get the content that makes these cards go up in price. In the SBCs, I mean, we have cards like Brahim Diaz here didn't require any team of the week. So he didn't make team of the weeks go up. But if we go down here, for example, to this Future Stars reunion player pick and show you this SBC, this required an 85 rated squad with two team of the week players. So this made team of the weeks skyrocket. So all the ones that we invested in last week, for example, we were investing in Matt Ryan for about 14K was selling for like 26,000 coins. So we invest in these cards when they're in packs because one, they just have to rise out of packs because we're not getting any supply. And then two, because we're going to get SBCs that require team of the weeks and it's going to make those cards go up. 
So you essentially just sell when the content comes that makes them rise and when you're happy with the profit. So we've covered when to buy, we've covered when to sell. Now let's get into the actual cards you want to be picking up. So let's jump over to Footbin and take a look at this current team of the week here. So typically what we're looking with looking at with team of the week investment is investing in fodder cards and basically what that means is cards that are like very cheap for their rating so for example what i like to use here is if you type in footbin cheapest by rating you can apply the gold inform filter here and basically it'll show you the cheapest inform at every single rating here and the trend that you'll find is that every single rating the cheapest team of the week is the team of the week that is currently in packs. So for example, 87 rated team of the weeks, the three cheapest cards are the three cards that are currently in packs. If we go to 86, you've got Talisco who's currently in packs. 85, you have Asensio who's currently in packs. 84, all these guys are currently in packs from Ta all the way to Levaja. And the reason for that is obviously we're still getting supply of those cards. So they're not going to jump as much as, for example, this Upa Meccano who's been out of packs for a while. So that's why these cards are so cheap compared to the others. Because obviously they're still getting packed and put on the game. So we like to look for cards that are currently the cheapest in their rating. So if I run you through some of those cards. Now again... You need to wait for these cards to kind of drop in price, try to pick up snipes and bids during content Saturday or early Sunday with foot champs rewards. But some of the cards I like the look of here, starting off with Koulibaly here, Syria gets used a ton for SBCs. There's great fodder cards in Syria. So I really like this Koulibaly card as a buy. He's currently going for just under 38,000 coins and he's usable in game as well, which, you know, could do something for his price as well. And a card that's very, very similar to this, relatively usable in game, very good rating. And the league, the it's going to be Jordi Alva here. And basically La Liga is the best league for fodder. This is the league that most people use when there requires like an 85 and 86 rated team. It seems like La Liga is the go-to for fodder in that range. Now, Premier League is going to be that kind of higher-end fodder, but it seems like La Liga is the place for those, like, 84 to 86 rated squads. So I love this 87 team of the week, Jordi Alba. And then the last one for the 87 cards is going to be this Luis Alberto here. So Luis Alberto, again, is just a great card for this because... Basically, when you go La Liga, you're also going to be going Spain. So, you know, you've got a Spanish Syria card here. We just mentioned the Syria. We just mentioned La Liga. So this card's a perfect mix of those. He's a Spanish center mid. And all these cards we've talked about, a center back, a center mid, and a left back are great positionally for SBCs as well. So I'm a big fan of those three cards right there. Now, moving down a little bit lower, a card I'm not as big of a fan of, but the price looks decent here is gonna be Talisca here now Talisca has an 84 and an 86 rated in form we're gonna be looking at the 86 that's the currently the one that's in packs and he's selling for about 28 and a half thousand coins now the reason I don't like this Talisca a ton is obviously because of his links he doesn't get great links he being in the Saudi league but he is Brazilian so it could be a lot worse but something I love about this Talisca, if we jump over to Footpin, he is 5k cheaper than the next 86 rated in form. So, and he's going to drop further as well as we get content. So I love the look of him. And just while we're here to mention it as well, it's going to be the same thing with that Marco Asensio. Asensio gets great links here. He's tw he is 3k under the next cheapest team of the week card that's 85 rated. So love the look of this Asensio card here as well. He's sitting at about 26k here. Again, it's expensive right now for informs because that SBC is out that requires two teams of the weeks and 85 rating. But overall, these cards are at great prices at the moment. And then the last ones here, just to show you real quick, are going to be all the 84 rated informs. So I'm just going to show you on the uh on the actual team here. So Ta is great as a German center back from the Bundesliga. Um, another one I really like. Danilo Pereira here being a Portuguese center mid league one is going to be a great card there. So definitely not something to sleep on there is those 84 rated cards, especially if they get down to like 14k becomes a great price for those. Now into the next thing after kind of that high rated fodder 84 to 88 kind of range, you have kind of these low end team of the weeks, the 81s, the 82s, the 83s, and then these guys down here that typically don't go for anything. What you want to do is basically for these guys down here, these 77 
anything under 81 rated you want to try to pick it up for 10,000 coins or less. These guys' minimum price, I believe, is 9,700 coins. It is. That's the price we want to be picking those up at. Those are discard informs, and essentially, these could potentially be a long hold, but when they do go up in price, you're going to make great coins on them. For example, when we got an 84-plus player pick, or whatever it was that required two Team of the Weeks and 82 rated, all these guys were 9,700 coins. They popped up to 15,000 coins. So those discard team of the weeks, while they can be a long hold and they require a very specific SBC, you can make some great coins off of them. Now, when it comes to the 81, 82 rated range, you'd like to pick these guys up for about 11,000 coins or so. It's the same type of thing as these guys, but a little bit higher rated. They're going to rise better. Now, with the 83s, it's not as big of a deal. You can pick those up 12, 13K and try to get them you know, they're going to rise to 15, 16 K and then they'll go up as well. But the lower rated you go, the more specific kind of SBC you need for those cards to rise. So again, it could be a longer hold for those cheap team of the week cards. And that's kind of just our overall look at team of the week investing this week. Again, I'll be posting stuff in the discord as well. Make sure you join link is in the description, but guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.